and welcome back to my channel. So I have an unboxing for you guys today and I'm super excited about it for a couple of reasons which you guys are going to see. So this you might recognize this silver envelope from the last time I did an unboxing from Choose To Do. So they are the company that makes this notebook cover that I've been using for the past couple of months that I love. I know it doesn't always show up in my Instagram pictures just because honestly this holographic stuff sometimes like screws with the lighting, but I do actually keep my bullet journal in here at all times and I've been really liking these pockets, like I use them for various things. It's been really handy. So when I noticed in one of their recent newsletters that they were coming out with a different size and that they were themed for one of my very favorite things, I was so excited and when they offered to send me one to check out, I jumped on it. So I figured that I would do an unboxing for you guys so you guys could see it as well and I will keep you guys posted as to how I'm actually using it. So. Let's get started. I'm leaving it this way because my address and their address is on the other side and I don't want to have to like try and censor that out. Um, so you'll notice that it is open. When I got it, I actually did unpackage it and look at it because I was so, so, so excited. And then I repackaged it all up to show to you guys. So this is my honest reaction. It's just the second time around that I'm seeing this because I could not wait and I was too busy lately to actually film it and I wasn't going to let this sit around for two weeks while I like had time to film. So anyway, let's get going. Oops. So let's see if I can get this out. Ah. So one of the things that I absolutely love is that, one, I have a cute little personalized card and look at the packaging. So it's a bit of a tight fit in there. It was actually like this, there you go. So it was actually like this when I first got it and I think that that was just a super cute way of packaging the notebook cover. So this was just a little note, oops from Pei Wen and it's just a little thank you card and she wrote me a lovely little note in here which I'm going to save. It will, if you guys know me, probably go in my, one of my junk journals. So I'm going to move this off to the side and let's take a look. I'm going to save this. Oops. I have no idea what this ribbon is but there's like garden-y kind of stuff and it actually says c'est la vie so something maybe vaguely French. Um, I don't know what it's made out of but I'm going to be saving this to put in my junk journal with that card actually. <laughs> so then we have craft paper which I will also be saving because I use these when I package things with wax seals so let's oops, fold that up move that out of the way. So when you get your notebook covers from them, they come in these like black um, sleeves, I guess is what you would call them, so that you can protect them. Um, I honestly hold on to these and I use them for other things, but I don't ever really keep my, my notebook covers in them. Um, so you guys, first off, this is their new size. So their previous sizes have been A5 size. And I, there might be another size in the one that's the actual, like the one with the clasp as opposed to the one with the elastic. Um, but I have the one with the elastic and that's an A5, it fits a Loy term. This is a B6, which I am super excited about because if you guys know, my language journal is a B6. Now it's a B6 slim, but it's still like the B6 size and I love it. The second thing you have to know about this is they did darker, vibrant colors, which I love, but they're also for the Harry Potter houses. So, if you guys didn't know already, oops, I am a Ravenclaw. And so I got the Inner Wisdom, which is the Ravenclaw inspired house color, which, okay, just like be prepared. This bronze inside is my favorite thing ever. Like I absolutely love this. So hold on, let me move the little styrofoamy, whatever those are. So I love this color scheme. Like this dark blue and bronze is so, so pretty. And you guys know my love for like all things copper. So like I was super excited when I saw that my house actually had this color because they've got, so Gryffindor is dark red and gold. Slytherin is dark green and silver. And Hufflepuff is a dark, like almost like a mustardy yellow and a black holographic one. And so Ravenclaw was the blue and bronze and oh, I love it. So they've also got some different pocket configurations from how they used to do. So I've got various things in here. So let's, let's take a look first. So 
They have a couple of changes from their A5 size, which I think is really cool. So they've got the same kinds of pockets that they have in the A5 size, except they also have these like sideways slip pockets. They don't have the multiple pockets going this way, but they do have some going the other way. They have four, like four elastics rather than two. So if you wanna use a traveler's notebook setup, you have a lot more flexibility. Um, and if you want to just do it as a notebook cover, then you can do the same, you know, you can like retie it and like pull, like pull the knot down to the bottom here and cut it off if you want to do that. And then the other really cool thing, so they still have the, the pen loop, but the other cool thing that they did is they actually made it convertible with this elastic. So you can do it this way, but because it's got this like grommet on the back, you can also do it this way. Now, if you do it traveler's notebook style, you have to retie it so that it's shorter, but they've given you enough elastic so that you can actually do that, which I think is super cool because I actually prefer having it close across this way, just personal preference. So I like that I have the option to do either. The other thing is, this is a B6 size, but like it looks kind of big because, oops, and I haven't actually like put stuff in here yet, but basically you can, like once you have all your stuff in, you're gonna have a wider spine, so it's gonna shorten out. So you can see like where it actually breaks here, it's gonna be a bit smaller. So like what, an inch smaller or so. So that is in terms of the actual setup. The other thing that they've included, which is super cool, and I don't know if this is gonna be for absolutely all of them, but at least like the first number of orders, is you can actually switch out your elastics. So they have elastics that go with the color of your hologram inside. Um, I know that they mentioned that for, Hufflepuff? They couldn't find a metallic black elastic, I think is what it was. I think that was the one. Um, but for all of the other ones, you have a metallic elastic that matches your like inner hologram, which I think is a super cute touch. I don't know if I'm going to actually um, restring mine. I might do it for this side one because I'm gonna redo the sizing anyway, but I might leave, I probably will just end up leaving these inside elastics as the black one, because like, why not? And then I'll just save this and use it for something else. So. That is the new cover. What I wanted to also show you guys and what I'm super excited about is, let's take, is I wanna see how my B6 fits in here. So this is currently my only B6 notebook, but you guys will notice, and I think I've mentioned it in videos, that it sucks. Like Midori makes these super pretty like cream covers, but if you don't actually have a cover for it, it gets really like, dirty and whatever just from being on your table and so I like the idea of keeping this in a cover so let's take a peek oops I'm gonna find roughly a halfway point there's not really a, a super visible halfway point and I'm just gonna pick one of the elastics actually I'm gonna do the back one okay so side like height wise this fits perfectly let's take a look so obviously mine because it's a slim I think a regular b6 would be like maybe an inch longer, I don't actually know. I've never had an actual B6 notebook, um, but this one is a little bit short. However, whoops, let's take a look. I'm gonna just do the elastic the normal way. So from in here, you definitely have plenty of room. I assume if you have a B6, you know, it, like I said, it'll come out to about here. And you definitely, whoops, have room to fit another notebook. So what I actually have in mind for this is one, I need to I need to do some research on some actual B6 size notebooks. Um, I've seen one, I think it's Stayology has a B6 size. Unfortunately, I can only find B6 Slim by Midori. I would love to have another Midori notebook because I love their paper. So if you guys have any like favorite B6 size notebooks, let me know. I am interested in finding another one. And what I kind of would like to do is eventually use this as, like once I get back into my language studies, have my B6 Slim as my language log, which I've still, you know, I've got a good ways to go in this notebook, and then have a second notebook for something else related to my language studies. I'm thinking, for example, once I finish my, my little A6 Nuna that I've been using for my Korean notes, maybe move into a B6 size, because I really, really like this particular size format, and I think that for language studies, it's kind of a good, a good um, in between. It's, you know, you have more space than an A6, but it's not quite as big as an A5, and it works out really well for taking notes and that kind of stuff. So that is what I want to do this, and I think it's perfect that, you know, it goes with inner wisdom. It's something that is, you know, self-study and like trying to get better at something that is, you know, more intellectual. I think that's kind of a, a fun juxtaposition with the cover and what I actually want to have in the contents. But 
I am just super excited to be able to have a cover now for this. And you guys, I know this is going to be super ridiculous, but I will probably actually keep my notebook in here, even though it looks like kind of sad and lonely by itself right now, because I'm just so sad about how dirty this has gotten. Like I want to, want to protect it a little bit. But yeah, so this is the new Choose to Do notebook cover. I am really excited. Like I said, if you guys have any leads on different B6 size notebooks. Now, I would prefer either grid or dot grid as opposed to lined or blanked just because lined or blank. Um, just because of what I want to actually use them for. So that's another constriction that I had when I was looking for stuff is I would find some that were lined or blank, but I was having a hard time finding ones that were grid. Dot grid was a completely different story altogether. Um, one of the other things I'm thinking about doing is I would like to eventually learn how to bind notebooks in the sense that like you have different packs of paper that you bind together. And if I learn how to do that, I might just make my own B6 size notebook because that might just be easier. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Just a quick little look at this new notebook cover. I need to deal with this elastic sometime soon. So if you guys are into Harry Potter and you also use a B6 size, definitely check out their notebook covers. I've been so, so happy with my A5 size. So I'm really excited to try the B6 and actually should probably show you guys this. Whoops. So you'll see because this only has two elastics, so it doesn't have as, um, as thick of a spine. This one has a thicker spine. So you can see like the width wise, it's almost the same. It's about the same as the A5. It's just a little bit shorter. So for a size comparison for you, but yeah, if you guys are Harry Potter fans and you are in the market for a B6 notebook cover, definitely, definitely check them out. These are gorgeous. I mean, obviously I've only seen the Ravenclaw one, but I can imagine the rest are also super pretty because this one is so nice. So that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.